Hey everybody, it's Gulliver121496 and for today's video I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day inspired eye tutorial and the look that I did for the, or did today, um, I, for Valentine's Day, I tried not to incorporate too much of a bold pink because um, I personally feel like when you get into like the bold pinks they're sometimes a little bit hard to work with um, at least for like average you know daily wear so I wanted to kind of um, make sure that I didn't put any um, you know like bold pinks in this look for you guys um, but also I really don't own any um, bold pink eyeshadows but I guess I will go ahead and zoom you guys in for you can see the look uh, better. But this is what the look looks like. Um, so you guys can see that there is a little bit of pink, but it's a, it's a more soft pink. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, because I know some people have some mixed feelings about um, pink eyeshadow, especially with the bold pink eyeshadow. But I hope you guys enjoy this eye tutorial, and I guess if you would like to see how to create this look or um, complete this look, then please stay tuned. First, as always, we're going to want to prime our eyes, and today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. But as always, please feel free to use any eyeshadow primer or eye base that you would like. And we're going to want to apply some to our eyelid area, our brow bone area, and a little bit to our lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and blend it out. For decrease eyeshadow, I ended up using the eyeshadow tees from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And in case if you don't have the Naked 2 palette, um, tees is a kind of like a plummy brown, soft plummy brown um, matte eyeshadow. So any soft plummy brown matte eyeshadow that you have will work for this step. And I applied it to my crease with a e.l.f. Studio contour eyeshadow brush. This next step is a totally optional step and it is to apply a cream eyeshadow to your eyelid. And I ended up doing this step because I felt like the eyelid eyeshadow that I used wasn't as pigmented by itself as I wanted it to be, so I ended up using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Strawberry Milk and applied it to my eyelid and then blended it out a little bit with my ring finger. But if you would like to do this step, please feel free to use any cream eyeshadow that you have that you would feel that would complement the eyelid eyeshadow that you are going to be using. For our eyelid eyeshadow and for our outer V or definer eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Clinique Color Surge Eyeshadow Duo in the Strawberry Fudge. And this eyeshadow duo contains a light shimmery pink and then a frosty or a shimmery plummy brown eyeshadow. And if you're actually looking for some eyeshadows that are very similar to these two eyeshadows, I would very much highly recommend looking into the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Trio and Sweet as Candy. For our eyelid eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the light shimmery pink eyeshadow from the Clinique Color Search Eyeshadow Duo in Strawberry Fudge. But any light shimmery pink eyeshadow will work for this step and I'm going to apply it to my eyelid with the sponge tip applicator that came with the eyeshadow duo because I feel like the sponge tip applicator kind of helps the eyeshadow apply a little bit more um, pigmented, I guess you could say, um, more than so with a just a regular eyeshadow brush. For 
For our outer corner or definer eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Shimmery Frosty Plummy Brown Eyeshadow from the Clinique Color Surge Eyeshadow Duo in Strawberry Fudge. But any frosty, shimmery, plummy brown eyeshadow will work for this step. And I'm going to apply it to my outer corner of my eye and kind of bring it into my crease a little bit using an e.l.f. A Studio eyeshadow. No, not eyeshadow C brush, um, an e.l.f. Studio contour brush. There we go. Got it correct. <laughs> Now we're going to want to apply our brow bone highlight and this is going to be a step that is going to differ for everyone because it just depends if you have a lighter complexion, a warmer complexion, or if you want a little bit of shimmer in your brow bone highlight or if you want a complete matte brow bone highlight. So for this step I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow single in brulee and applying it to my brow bone and also kind of going around my the my eyeshadows and erasing any harsh edges or anything like that with a equal tools blending brush but please feel free to use any eyeshadow that you have that you feel that complements your skin tone once we have finished applying our brow bone highlight we're going to want to blend our eyeshadows and for this step I'm going to be blending my eyeshadows using a equal tools highlighting brush. This step is going to be another optional step and it is to line your lower lash line with the eyeshadows that you use for your eyelid and outer quarter outer corner according I guess to the way that you applied them to your eyelid I guess you could say. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I did this, um, I lined my lower lash line with the eyeshadows with a just a regular angled tip eyeshadow brush. And now for another optional step which is to apply a inner corner highlight. Um, I used the Next Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and then set that with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow and Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. And last but not least, we're going to want to curl our eyelashes and apply a coat of our favorite mascara. So that is pretty much everything on how to complete this Valentine's Day inspired eye tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I hope that each and every one of you are, are and have been doing well. And as always, if you guys have any video requests at all, um, just please feel free to um, leave them in the comments below or message, message me here on YouTube um, or you can tweet me your request. Um, my Twitter um, account name is just the same um, name as my YouTube account name. Um, and I will try to get them, you know, filmed, edited, and uploaded to YouTube as soon as I can for you. And also just, I mean, I know I say this in every one of my videos, but I just really want you guys to know just how much I really appreciate all of your guys' support and all that you do for me. So I just wanted to say thank you again for your support and just everything y'all do for me. Before <laughs> this video gets too long, I just, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are doing well and have been doing well and I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.